My name is Kunji. Uh, do do you want backstory yeah, history? Sure. What do you, what do you want of me? Uh, uh, tell me your like if you could give me the story of Kunji in two sentences. Whoa. Uh, the story of Kunji is is exploring um, exploring uh, narrative empowerment and. Um, well-being through movement and allowing movement to offer opportunity for personal discovery. How's that? That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah? All right. All right. That's what. That's kind of what I do where I'm at. I live in Calgary, Alberta. I do some dance theater and uh, I'm going to show you a couple kind of exercises. Um, it's not like a workshop. I just want to show you some of my favorite things to uh, kind of uh, uh, center. Uh, I really believe that if we can move and play and dance from like a foundation and like kind of of a, of a solid, clear foundation, that we can go further than if we start from this from, from another place. Great. So we'll do uh, kind of a, a focusing centering exercise to like check in with the body physically. Uh, and then we'll do a couple of movement experiments, and then we'll play a game together. Uh, before we start, is there anything uh, I'd need to know uh, about you physically uh, to to have you feel supported and um, uh, give you what you need to explore physically today? Um, I think I just need to let you know that my space is not relatively large. So I can sit like this, <laughs> and go like this, like it's full on like that cubicle right. style. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. We can for sure work with that. Uh, right now, I'm sitting. To I think we could probably stay sitting for most of this uh, uh, this play day, uh, and go from there. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So first, uh, first things first is to kind of check in with the breath. Uh, so I welcome you to, to sit in a comfy, relaxed spot. Um, think of uh, um, being supported through the core, which often for me uh, manifests in the idea of shining the collarbones. So there's no idea of hunching that the collarbones shine because my core is engaged. Uh, and that my, the top of my little uh, top knot is kind of pointing, shooting straight to the sky. Uh, but that said, it, uh, the neck is still kind of loose and free, and there's no, there's no idea of boundedness, but engaged, shining, and uh, aligned. Yeah? Wonderful. Now what I'd like to welcome is uh, we're going to do some breathing. You, this is my left hand, and we're going to use our thumb to point to each of our finger pad one at a time. And uh, each one is going to be a breath. As we go, so we're going to do start uh, from the bottom of the pointer finger, then we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna go across the top, across the top, across the top, down the pinky, down the pinky, in, into the middle finger, up the middle finger, uh -huh. up, yeah, there, and then over to the inside of the ring. Ring, ring. There, so that we're not, we'll never, we'll do as much of a spiral as possible without repeating a finger pad. Oh, cool. Yeah, so it'll be, yeah. uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, up, eleven, and twelve. Yeah? Yeah, that's so cool. Wonderful. So we're going to try start with a, a clear, open breaths. I might drop in a couple ideas as we can as we go on, and I'm going to give you a bit of uh, information as with my breath. But if you're in front or behind, that's totally cool. Yeah. Love it. All right. When you're ready, I'm gonna start at the uh, base of the uh, pointer finger. Yeah. Connecting with the breath to take some of your most conscious breaths of the day so far. Starting to lengthen and deepen the breath, whatever that means to you. So 
So that might show up for the breath taking a little bit longer, making sure all the air is out. And then as we breathe, is there anything you can ask to let go? Shoulders, behind the eyes, the jaw. And wherever you're at now, I'll just welcome in a micro hole at the top and bottom of each breath so that as I inhale, pause and exhale. Just a little mini micro hole at the end of my exhale, pause before the inhale. Wherever you are, just welcoming in a little half smile. May not even manifest outwardly, but an inward smile. Mm. When you finish, you can. Have a little bit of movement. Yeah, and the shoulders and the neck and the hands. How's that? Oh, so good. So I like <laughs> that so much. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, connection to breath. Uh, there's so much in there, so much poetry of uh, the paying attention to the breath, the breath is teacher, uh, a lot of movement uh, uh, centers around this. And uh, yeah, I've got I've got one more a uh, bit of a uh, kind of a physical centering um, idea to to offer, and then we're we're gonna start some some movement. Love it. <laughs> cool. Okay, so uh, for this one, you can have closed eyes or soft focus or uh, whatever you feel is appropriate. But what I'd like you to do is um, we're gonna center kind of the body on three planes. So uh, we're gonna start. Uh, vertical, then we're going to do horizontal, and then we're going to do through depth. Um, and so we'll start with horizontal. And so for this, the image that I really like to play with is the spine, going from the bottom of the tailbone up through the top of the head. And in this, as you're playing, if there is any like bending or, or like small stretches, that's absolutely appropriate. But to, to notice the length of your body and the length of your breath, to be conscious of the vertical space of your bones, your arm bones, your femurs, the vertical aspect of your rib cage, the vertical aspect of your tailbone that reaches both down towards the ground and then also kind of like a, a reaching up through the top of your head. So there's this, this pull from down from the tailbone and up through the top of the head, really feeling the, the, the length upwards. And this, uh, this is a place that we could do a whole dance exploration for, feeling the idea of verticality, feeling how the body uh, relates vertically in space, um, keeping that awareness of the up and down. And I would say of the three, this is often one that we, we do most often. Um, and now I'll, I'll invite our awareness across the shoulders and across the chest. At the same time, I'll invite our awareness across the hips as if there's um, Almost like a plank of wood that is kind of resting within your shoulders along your shoulder girth, and that almost there's a plank of wood resting along your 
hip bone, like the, the, the hip dish, as though it's resting on the top of your hip bones vertically, uh, horizontally, I'm sorry. And then to welcome in that idea of your, or your width from side to side. <laughs> yeah, with your space, so wherever space you're in. But the idea of centering yourself within uh, this horizontal plane. Uh, and sometimes, like in yoga, you hear people at, uh, uh, play with the idea of being between two panes of glass, mm. with your shoulder girdle and your hips between two panes of glass. Uh, and there's certain bends and stretches that you can play with within that uh, imagined space. Breadth of you. <sighs> And then finally, take a few deep breaths into the center of the core, and then to play with the depth of you. So uh, um, the depth of the chest cavity from front to back, to almost, almost visually map uh, the, the edges of the skin. And for me, I really find success when, when I do it up into the, the skull space, because this is where a lot of our, our thinking comes from. And a lot of our, you know, we carry our, how we see the, our gaze through the world, through this space in the head, and really feeling uh, the back of the head to the front of the head, and feeling that depth uh, is a lot, is, is the most clear aspect of depth to me. And then when I am, try to transfer that maybe to the heart center, or to the center of the chest, to feel that depth is a really interesting practice for me. Uh, to feel that depth of the hips, uh, again, the, the bowl, but then feeling the, the depth of it from front to back. And now taking a few breaths to center yourself and as if you're like switching filters, switch the filter of vertical, switch to the, vert the, the filter of horizontal, switch to the, ver the filter of depth, and then vertical, horizontal, and depth, and vertical, horizontal, and depth, until the, the filters start to kind of overlap, 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 vertical, horizontal, depth, vertical, horizontal, depth, depth, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, vertical, depth, horizontal, until, until you feel this uh, um, hum and buzz, until they all three can, in a way, be felt. <laughs> to feel all three at the same time, to feel this, in a way I feel it's quite a political act of taking your space, how your body expresses in these three dimensional uh, uh, space, in these three planes. <sighs> yes. oh. <laughs> how do you feel? Oh, so much, so much better. Full honesty, I was having like a pretty grumpy day. So this is yeah. like so, oh, this is exactly what I needed. It's like, I forget how much, like as a, as a physical person being stuck in a small space and like thinking like, oh, I can't do what I usually do. But then like, mm. you can do it in like this and it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so much poetry to, to being in our boxes here. <laughs> but at the same time, we're, like, like we're together. We yeah. get to spend this time together to uh, feel, express, connect. Um, and that's a joy. Um, I've been really digging on this um, framing device for, for dance. And I, when I, myself included, as a, as a younger uh, artistic human, uh, I was always really kind of scared of the term dance and, and thinking of myself as a dancer, it's, it's, it can have a lot of weight to it. And, and I've recently found this expression, which 
honestly, I'm sure it could have come from someone or somewhere, but uh, uh, it came out of me recently. And I really love the idea that, that dance is an organized structure in movement through time. So to break that down, an organized structure. Uh, if, if, I mean, two arms just vertically, if you want to join me here, that is an organized structure. The structure is two arms vertically. Any kind of structure you can imagine, whether it's uh, uh, um, two fists, two fists, we've now organized the structure. And as we roll our wrists, this is uh, what our organized structure is doing in movement. And the last part is through time. And often uh, to dance and, and, and to be influenced by music are often quite similar. Uh, but if we're allowing this organized structure uh, and, and we're having some kind of like a rhythm of that's all it is. And everything from like, I mean, uh, the, the, the hula uh, be, you know, issuing from, from this organizing structure of the wave, of the idea of the wave through time. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, that's, that's, that framing structure really, really has helped me of, um, it's an organized structure in movement through time. That's really, it's like, it is nice to like break down, break down the concept because I feel like dance is like a huge world mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. folks can like have this little spot in. But if you have like this, this definition, then you can explore it in a different way, I think. Totally. And, and, and uh, I mean, that's, that's just a testament to how kind of amazing our body is, is that there's so many expressions of what an organized structure can be, right? I mean, it could be this balletic form, right? Of, of if this is what we agree upon as our organized structure of aesthetic, of beauty, then, then there's a whole world uh, within that uh, of moving it through time. If, if we agree that our structure is, the, is uh, like the hip hop groove, is, is the downbeat, the, like it's so, it's so nerdy and neat just to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to say the, the, oh, I see your organized structure. You're the highland dancing of, of you know, quite upright spine, high legs uh, uh, with kicks and long vertical lines and vertices. That's your organizing structure and you're moving that through time. <laughs> With that in mind, I'd like to propose, this is a, a bit of a dance game uh, that me and, I almost want to attribute to Patrick Quinn and I would start playing at like random dance parties. Um, and the idea is that we're just gonna keep adding layers until, until our brains can't hold them anymore. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> so it's always gonna be on the eight. Um, we're usually, I'd say, let's say, let's always stick with two eights. Um, and then we add to the next thing. So how this is going to work? I'm going to put on some music and then to the eight, I'm going to offer some kind of dance move. So if my dance move is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we do it twice and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you, Morgan, are going to uh, offer a dance move. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and now from uh, two, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, two, eight, and then we're gonna go back to the top to my first move. Oh, love it! Two, three, four, five, six. Do it twice and two, two, three, four, five, six. Now onto your move and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six. Then I would add right. Oh, so hot. I'm gonna add the next one. We would we would do it together for two weeks, then we start again from the top. Oh, this is and like we'll see. I mean a bit of a personal challenge I'll issue. We don't have to hit it, but maybe like seven layers would be pretty neat. If we can get to seven layers, I'd be pretty stoked. Uh, <laughs> recognizing that we, we don't have a lot of lower movement. Uh, uh, and that's fine, that's just what it is. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna kick on a little bit of music. Together, yeah, you feel that? Soul. Get up, yeah. get yourself together. All right, and I don't want to go. They're doing it down in that zone. Time that funk is so one more here. Doing it by the beach. Uh, 
having that your turn. So here we go. Here we go. New York, get yourself together. Cause I don't want your soul. One more. Let your okay. body oh. pop by. And let your feeling flow. Raise up. Get yourself together. And I'm that funky soul. But I say, Sagittarius. Oh. That funky soul. Up. Here we go. I say, Pisces, holla. And I'm your funky soul. But I say, Gemini. And I'm that funky soul. But I say, Capricorn. And I'm your funky soul. But I say, Scorpio. Can you yeah. find that funky soul? Yeah. Raise up, get yourself together, and find your funky soul. Say, ah, here we go. Get and on up, get yourself together, find that funky soul. Leo, yeah. get yourself together, and find your funky soul. Eh? Aquarius, get yourself together, and find that funky soul. Floor, just like hey, you in, you in, is that all right? And you can go around in a circle, and you're all at the end, and yeah, I love it. Oh, that's thank you so much, my friend. My pleasure, Morgan. And something I've been asking folks is like, uh, we kind of talked to the beginning is like why this, why this form of form of like exercise and and art brings you joy. But like when we're at home, what have how have you been like? How have you been dancing and stuff while you've been at home? That's a great question. Um, well, I am lucky that I get to do some teaching uh, with Quest Summer Camps. And so I'm doing some uh, uh, like dance classes, uh, uh, which are really lovely and a lot of fun. Um, other than that, I mean, um, when I do get into a creative state of mind, this is usually uh, an entry point or something I'll do if I get stuck. Not necessarily this practice, but some kind of physical, you know, I'll pop in my, my headphones and, and go through my, my playlist of things, songs that move me. <laughs> and often that uh, it offers me a new way to think about the, the problem or the opportunity or the engagement um, that, 
that gets me gets me out of the the you know the, just the monkey mind. <laughs> so yeah, so um, you know, I, I I admit that I haven't been as active as I usually am or would like to be, <laughs> but uh, it's it's always there, and and opportunities like this to like share together is is much appreciated. Oh, right back at you. And my last question that I'm asking everybody, or trying to ask everyone, if I remember, mm. uh, is what else is bringing you, what else is like that you didn't think would bring you joy is bringing you joy right now? Hmm. Ha. <sighs> um, wow. I mean, joy is an interesting uh, slant to, to what I'm feeling, but, but being able to pause being able to recognize uh, everything that's going on in the world in terms of um, uh, the racial awareness that, that is being play, paid because of Black Lives Matter, um, that that movement has offered me a lot of contextualization, a lot of thinking points, a lot of engagement points, um, being able to recognize my own privilege and my own biases, the ways that I have um, added to and contributed to uh, uh, systemic racism to be a part of that to recognize that uh has brought me joy that i could do something different that i could engage in different ways um uh, <laughs> so like i said joy um i i would say it has brought a sense of of joy at the potential of of honest integral change of how I how I relate to my community and my society. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. That's it's really beautiful and I think I think that learning for me in this whole this whole series. You're my last you're my last learning today. Ah. So I feel like You're done. You're done learning. I'm done learning. That's it. <laughs> no new <laughs> But like learning and living in discomfort, I think is something that we can all get used to and appreciate the value in. Mm. Because like, if you don't feel anything, you're never gonna grow. That's so. true. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary to feel those things. Yeah. It's so good. So good to grow and think and share. Yeah. And hopefully have a couple seeds of, of thought and change and, and shift. But yeah, you got a, a spectator the whole time. Right, George? Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, no Zoom meeting is complete unless there is a pet. Right. <laughs>